So uh, I have been, I've been thinking about my relationship a lot lately. Uh, I'm not in love, I'm married. <laughs> Anybody married out here tonight? You know what, have you noticed this? You get used to things when you're married. Just things, like the soap is never where you last left it. Being naked, that used to be an event, something you'd shave for. <laughs> now you're married, suddenly your pet name is Chewbacca. <laughs> you know, it's different than when you're dating. Daters out here, dating, dating. When you're dating, it's different because when you're dating, you say, honey, let's just spend a night at home together. And that means you shave, you break out the good brawn panties, they match. The little elastic strings, they're gone. You know, you get all dolled up for the occasion, and he doesn't fart in the couch. <laughs> That's romance. I thought I would spice things up recently, so I went to a sex shop. In case you're thinking about it, let me just advise you. If you find something that says that it is edible, melting, or self-heating, don't do it. Not unless you're prepared to use Pepto-Bismol and paint thinner. These products, they don't work. Here's what I think the problem is. I think that you take a, an ordinarily, otherwise smart human being, you put them in a sex shop, and they lose their common sense. Case in point, edible panties. People, we're talking watermelon flavored, low carb candied panties. <laughs> no, I don't care how turned on I am. Eating a pair of underwear that tastes like car tire is not going to end well for me. Mm -mm. Those leather studded harnesses for him to wear, those costumes, oh, and they put that picture of the model on the package. He is gorgeous, he's to die for. I have to have this. Stop! Apply your common sense. Hmm. I'm about to buy a leather studded harness for a beer gut and man boobs. <laughs> Let me visualize this for a moment. Okay, does it come with an emergency quick release in case he gets stuck? <laughs> 